part of the younger generation at Sundowns, looking at the success that the likes of Dennis, some Paul have achieved, not just in the team, but also on an individual basis. And what do you think it does in terms of the future of this team? Because there's a lot of young blood that's now being introduced in the likes of Nkuma and Mkulis, and what this team can achieve with. I'm almost 30. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I've played with Dennis, Lumpo, with Lafour before at Supersport. And uh, for me, I think as as a youngster back then, and for the younger ones now, it's all about learning from the senior players. You know, doing whatever they whatever they do to to succeed. Because obviously, it's evident uh, with what they they've achieved in their career. So obviously, we also want the same. And the main thing for us is to just continue to look at them and work hard the way they did and you know do whatever they did and also take the advice that they give us you know because uh, at the end of I always say you know when I speak to younger younger players I always speak about it the team that I was part of at Supersport I was the young I was yeah I think I was the youngest in the team when I when I got to the first team and it was all senior guys you know Dennis, Lumpo, uh, there was Dane, there was Katza, uh, Shane all those guys and they were all experienced and I just told myself, learn from them and take advice from them because at the end of the day, the senior players won't advise you to do the wrong things. They will advise you to do good and obviously their story speaks, like like Lumpo said now, uh, what is achieved, it speaks for itself. So at the end of the day for me, uh, like you say now, uh, with um, Mkolisi, Galezzo, Promos and them, uh, in order for them to succeed, it's just to continue doing what they're doing and learn from the senior players. And the future of this team, what do you think is capable? Um, if you look at the bubble, the guys, the 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 way the youngsters perform now in the bubble, and also promise that got promoted, there is uh, Bail the left back, um, Mkolishi got promoted last year, Mahalwa, uh, there's Matisha. I think all of them, if you look at the the way they performed in the bubble now. They help the team a lot, so I think it's evident that uh, Sundowns has a bright future with the youngsters, and hopefully we can we can continue with the success. I like uh, Vanilla here. Um, how was it difficult uh, if if you look at the first result, uh, taking away the semi-final, but um, I think the first four matches you went without a win. What was going through the team? And in that phase, people outside we continue to talk and we knew that Sundowns had that situation. Uh, it was difficult to be honest. It was it was difficult. Also, the fact that Chiefs was picking, they picked. I think the first game they won against Polo Kwane. If, if I'm not the second one, they they won, and then we we drew our first two. So it was difficult. It was difficult for us, but also we had to be mentally strong and. Like you, like you've mentioned now, we we've been slow starters, but at the end, you always know we, we came out top. And on on that, I don't know if you saw or oh, the guys that on social media, there was a post that my bunda put up. He said uh, we will win the league at the end. So for me, it was it was difficult for all of us, but I think the mental the mental belief that we 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 will push push over the line and and and, and win the the league. Is, is what stood out most for, for all of us. And um, like Lumpo also said, some of us we were tired, but mentally we told ourselves we will do it. And there's the saying that I believe in, you know, uh, faith without work is dead. You can tell yourself you're going to do it mentally, but if you don't put in the effort and the hard work, you won't, you, you won't achieve it. So, like I said, mentally we told ourselves we will do it, and we just tried to push. You know, and at the end of the day, we did it. Lionel Chad, yeah. Uh, three titles to your name now. Uh, you, you obviously still a long way from from the likes of Rompo and Dennis and that. But you've you've got a future here at Sundowns. You you haven't quite cemented your place in the team yet. Uh, what what are you looking forward to? You know, in the remainder of your stay, and I'm sure you're, you're looking to to continue your stay, or extend your stay at the club as well. Just what are you what are you looking forward to after the success you've enjoyed now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Um, yeah, obviously, uh, I think first is to submit my place. I've been here for two years, but um, I haven't submitted my place yet. So that is my main goal, to submit my place. And then to continue winning trophies with the team. That's the reason why I came here, is to, to win trophies with the team. And hopefully I can do that. And obviously continue. I, for me personally, I, I think I can finish my career here. So, yeah, hopefully I, c I can do that. In fact, uh, still on that, um, when you guys, I remember especially with you when you were coming to Sundowns, uh, and it's happened with other players as well, uh, I remember the Bulls I uh, to say, ah, but why is Lyle going to, to Sundowns? Um, that's a career finished. But you look at the composition of the team now, even the youngsters, everyone's playing. Uh, in one way or another, you're contributing. Um, so, uh, do, do, do you look back in those comments and you think this was a decision well made? To be honest, after we won the league, that, that, that comment came up, you know, and um, even when we won the first league title, the same thing, people were asked, like you said, people were asking why are you going there. And um, when, when I first joined Sundowns, it was one of the reasons why I joined. I said I want to win trophies, I want to compete. And then it comes back to that saying that I said, uh, faith without work is dead. I, I believe if I continue working hard, and even before I joined Sundowns, I told myself, let people talk. As long as you do your best and you work hard, you're going to get the reward. And at the end of the day, I got the reward. So for me, it's just to continue working hard, uh, trying to submit my place in the in the first eleven, and continue contributing to the team to win trophies. What, what's that thing that, that you need as a player under Coach Pitzel? I mean, like like the dogs go, you know, some players there's, there's more players coming in now uh, before next season. Um, what 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 is it that a player needs to be able to to stay in contention and, and not fall out of favour and then end up getting released after a season or two without even playing a game? Uh, you have to be mentally strong. That's that's one thing when you when you come to Sundowns you have to be mentally strong. And the other thing is also, because of our busy schedule, we're traveling, we're playing CAF, we're playing in the league. So there's not, there's not much, how can I say, we, we don't have much time to train certain things. So he, he always says, uh, don't fall off, this, they say, don't fall off the train, because the train keeps on moving. So when you're not playing, you just have to make sure that you fit, you're ready whenever you get your chance, and when you get your chance, you have to take it. Because if when you get your chance and you're not ready, you you know you you could see the certain players you saw what happened to them. So for me, I personally, I feel like even if you're not playing, you have to do more than what the guys that are playing. You you have to do more than them because when you do get your chance, you're gonna have to take it. So that's what that's what I think. Why most of the players don't succeed at Sundowns because they fall off the train. In fact, uh, talking about Coach Pizzo, um, um, you've, you've been with him for some time now. I mean, this is his fifth league title now. Um, he's helped the club finish 10 league titles. Uh, I think it's the first club um, in the Sundowns. What makes him different, um, Coach Pizzo? Uh, the mentality. The mentality is different. Um, Always wanting to win, wanting to win more. You no, know, never, never settle. Uh, always wanting to learn. It's even in the bubble now. I think it was after the. I think it was the Marisburg or the Golden Arrows game. He spoke to me. And he told me, and we had this conversation. And um, the same thing I'm telling you now is just what he told me. You must always be willing to learn. Down because we won yesterday. We had a good game. Relax. Always want. You, you, you always, uh, you have to stay hungry. You want to learn, always wanting to learn, always wanting to do better than what you did the day before. And I think that's one of the reasons why he's achieved what he's achieved today. It's because he always wants more. 
and what, how have you benefited? Um, what did you say during the time you've been with him? What has changed in your game? For me, <laughs> um, for me, I think um, in my game, personally for me, it's made me mentally stronger. Um, I still have a lot to learn when it comes to that, but I personally feel for me, mentally, it's, it's, it's made me stronger, it's made me a better player, obviously. And um, I haven't played, okay, I think I played once or twice at Leafback before I came to Sundance. But if you look at it now compared to before, I've I've improved a lot. So at the end of the day, I would say the main the main thing that is improved uh, in me is my mentality. Usually, Coach Pito says when he recruits players, he tells them that they'll win trophies, they'll make money, they'll change their lives and family lives. Take us through when he brought you on board. What is it that you can remember that he told you that is you are seeing happening today? Uh, if I remember the conversation well, uh, before I came to Sundance, I was supposed to go to Wits. Oh. Um, yeah, Wits had an agreement with Cape Town City. The deal was almost done. That was, I remember it was on a Friday night. The Saturday night, the, yeah, the Saturday night we had a family gathering and then I just got the call from my agent to say, look, Coach Pitzos, uh he wants to speak to you. Um, he's going to call you. And we spoke. He told me um, he wants me, but he wants me to play as a left back. <clears throat> I said, he asked me, do I have a problem? And I said, no, I don't have a problem. With it because I came in 2014, I came to Sundowns before, also as a left back. I was on trial at Sundowns as a left back. Um, then he asked me if I'm comfortable. I said, yes, I'm comfortable. But um, he didn't really speak much about what you're asking. But I also knew because we all know Sundowns and I think every player in the PSL wants to play for Sundowns because of the success of the team. So yeah, he, he didn't speak much about that but I knew myself that he, if I want to win trophies and I want to be successful, Sundowns is the team. Just a follow up there, like, I mean, a lot of people would see a positional change from say the more advanced role to a left back as some sort of a step backwards. It is literally, you know, I'm talking figuratively, but how did you see it? Did you see it as a, a bit of a step back to say, I mean, I want to score goals, I want to contribute more to the team, but now people have come to know you as an adventurous left wing, and now you're expected to go play left back. Did you see it as some, somewhat of a step back? Not really, considering not really considering the, the style that's unknowns plays. Um, they play more with, with what they call wing backs instead of natural full backs. So that's also why I agreed on it. If you look at the style of play, we attack more than what we, we defend. Uh, if that's answering your question. Can we have the last question for Lyle then? Ring for Nyaku because the coach is here and he's starting for them. Okay. And I just want to follow up on the coaches that you, you obviously you played under Gavin, you played under Benny, uh, you played under Pitzo now. I mean, these are three great South African coaches that we don't know guys Benny of them done for, for South African football in general, in your view and in, in your career personally. Um, like you say, they. They've, they've all, all three of them, they've, they've been successful. Okay, Benny, not, not yet. Benny's still starting, like you said. We don't know what Benny can achieve still, but I think they all, yeah, if you, if you, if you rank them, they all, I would say, in the top three, top five in, in the country um, when it comes to, to coaches. And for me, personally, I think there's, with all three of them, uh, there's this, uh, not trained, but something that I've experienced with all three of them and what they've, they've helped me. Um, like I said, mentally, to be to be mentally strong. Um, you know how Kevin is, Ben is the same, and now Coach Pizzo. But I think I've learned more with Coach Pizzo than what I've learned with, with Benny and, and, and Coach Kevin because I think I've been longer with Coach Pizzo than with the, with the, with the others. And um, 
yeah, like I said, I've mentally they've 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 made me stronger and with with Gavin when I started it was something new for me because I, I just started out as uh, as a youngster. And then also with the senior players back then they helped me. But everything I've learned with Gavin and with Benny, it also helped me now with Coach Pitzel when when I came to Sundowns. So yeah, like I said, mentally that was the main or, or, or the positive that I can take out of all three of all three of those coaches. Um as to what you've asked me, like what what has helped me the most.